Hi, social media friends. Uh, let's get into God's word once again. Today, I just want us to discuss about the topic of faith. I cannot exhaust it, but there is something I want to point to you that will help your life. Uh, praise God. Faith. And that is it. But there are three ways faith have been described in the scriptures. Three. There could be more, but I just want to talk about three of them. I see faith as saving faith. And I read about faith as living faith. And again, I read about faith as faith as a gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, when I have faith in Jesus Christ, I am saved. And when I continue in faith, the Holy Spirit will use the faith that God has given me to do greater and mighty works. But today, I just want to limit our, our, our teaching, or our study, to the middle one called living faith. Every day I need to live by faith. Every day we need to live by faith. Living faith. The Bible says that the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. Why do we need to live by faith? Because faith is so much important in the Christian life. The Bible says that we cannot please God without faith. In fact, we cannot serve God without faith. We cannot manifest God without faith. We cannot see God's glory without faith. Now, how does living faith operate in us? And that's why, that's what I would like to show. In fact, as Christians, when you read Galatians chapter 5, verse 16, 17, the Bible says that there is a warfare going on. Yeah, I want to demonstrate that. The Bible says that the flesh is fighting against the spirit. And then we have our bodies. So you see, there is a fight between the flesh and the spirit. The Bible says the flesh is against the spirit. And the spirit is against the flesh. Now, I don't know what is flesh. But the flesh, I don't know so much about the flesh. I'm sorry. But the flesh is not the body. The flesh is the principle of sin. Some principle of sin. Evil. Something. Some potential. That can, that, 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 that will want to go its own way and do some stuff. You know, James calls it lust. He says, if one is tempted, it's some lust, something within us that really leads us. That's what we call the flesh. Now, the spirit is your spirit inside you. You know, the Holy Spirit has regenerated your spirit. And we serve God with our spirit. We can hear the voice of God with our spirit. We can really understand the word of God. With our spirit. Paul says that the words of written in 2 Corinthians chapter 3. They are not letters, but they are actually spirits. So, the flesh and the spirit, they are fighting. Always there is a fight going on in you as a Christian, as a believer. He says that if you give in to the flesh, the flesh will win. If you give in to the spirit, the spirit will win. But then we have our bodies. Friends, the body is neutral. It is not sinful. It's neutral. The Gnostics taught us that the body is evil. So they can't understand why Jesus came into the body and we're saying that he is God. He has the nature of God. The body is not sinful. It is neutral. If you tend to listen to the desires, the evil desires and the Last in you, the flesh, 
If you listen to it and the works of the flesh, then you realize that the body will follow the flesh. Whoever wins this fight, the body will follow it. Now, if you feed your spirit by listening to the word of God, by listening to the Holy Spirit, then your spirit will win the battle. And as your spirit wins the battle, your body will automatically follow your spirit. Friends, maybe you're wondering why I can't live the Christian life. Why I think so tough. Why I can't save God. Let me tell you, Christianity is so tough. It's only easy for one person. And that person is the Holy Spirit. All you do is that allow him to live the Christian life through you. It's not your strength, but allowing the Spirit of God to win the fight. And when he's winning the fight, your body is going to follow the Spirit. The body is just there for manifestation. You know, and serving the, the Lord, we serve it from our spirit. You sing from our spirit. You have the desire to preach to others from your spirit. You have the desire to support others from your spirit. And as soon as that happens, your body picks it up. Friends, I just want to encourage you. Paul says that there is an active warfare going on within our bodies, our members, the flesh against the spirit. So that's why Paul says that the just shall live by faith. You will live by the Spirit of God. You will live by the Word of God. And as you live by the Spirit of God and the Word of God, which is faith, then your spirit man will be strengthened and energized. Your human spirit will be filled with God. And it wins the battle. And your body will follow automatically. Why is it that some people can go out and preach to others to be saved? Why is it that they will sacrifice their life? They will sacrifice their resources. They will do all they can, even for one soul to be saved. Because the spirit is leading the body. I remember Paul telling the Macedonians, he says, because you have given yourself to God. That's why it wasn't difficult for you even to give your money. Something was winning in the spiritual. Therefore, it wasn't difficult for the body to follow what is going on. It's my prayer that this battle going on in you, your spirit man will win. And the body that is neutral will follow it so that we all can manifest God. We need this body. When you lose this body, you can't live on this earth. It's needed on this earth. And therefore, the spirit needs to express itself through the body. Jesus needs my body to speak to you right now. To go and do some work for him. But let's be careful. If we don't follow the spirit and the word of God. If we don't live in this area. In the word and in the spirit. Then the flesh will win the battle. Because we cannot do it. Forget about the body. It, it's not even at the same level as these two. It doesn't come into the fight. You find someone who is stealing. Beat him, beat him, beat him, beat him. They beat them all the time. But you see that they are still stealing. Because it's not a body. It's a principle in him at work. But you find a believer who is full with the spirit of God. They beat them, beat them, beat them, beat them. By the Peters and them. Paul dying at, in uh, Mama Time prison. Beating 20 foot by whatever. Rats eating their flesh. But it didn't stop him. Because it's something coming from the inside. My prayer is that you will live in God's word and in the spirit. God bless you. Thank you for watching. We pray these videos have been a blessing to you and it has encouraged your journey with God. These messages are being sponsored by Word Chapel Ministries. We encourage you to join us for fellowship. Our address, 1923 Washington Avenue, Bronx, New York. Our order of service, Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Morning devotion on the phone. Wednesdays, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Prayer meeting within the sanctuary. Thursday, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Bible Academy on the phone. Fridays, 
11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Intercessory prayer meetings in the sanctuary and our Sunday services 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. If these videos have been a blessing to your life, reach out to us with your comments, your reviews, and your encouragement. God richly 